Welcome to Digit Math. Today, we're diving into subtracting two-digit numbers. We've got 10 questions lined up to help you sharpen your subtraction skills. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's get started. 35 minus 29 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 5 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 5, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 2 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 15. Now, we have 15 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 15, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 2. Subtract 2 from 2, which equals 0. So the final result is 35 minus 29 equals 6. 74 minus 28 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 14, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 2 from 6, which equals 4. So the final result is 74 minus 28 equals 46. 75 minus 28 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 5 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 5, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column and turning the units column into 15. Now, we have 15 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 15, which equals 7. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 2 from 6, which equals 4. So the final result is 75 minus 28 equals to 47. 26 minus 19 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 6 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 2. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 1 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 16, which equals 7. In the tens column, we now have 1. Subtract 1 from 1, which equals 0. So the final result is 26 minus 19 equals 7. 78 minus 69 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 8 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 8, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 18. Now, we have 18 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 18, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 6 from 6, which equals 0. So the final result is 
78 minus 69 equals to 9. 86 minus 58 is? Time to think. 86. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 6 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 8. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 7 in the tens column and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 16, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 7. Subtract 5 from 7, which equals 2. So the final result is, so 86 minus 58 equals 28. 74 minus 58 is? Time to think. 84. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 14, which equals 6. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 5 from 6, which equals 1. So the final result is 74 minus 58 equals 16. 76 minus 47 is time to think. 84. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have six minus seven. Since it's not possible to subtract 7 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 6 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 7 from 16, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 6. Subtract 4 from 6, which equals 2. So the final result is 76 minus 47 equals 29. 84 minus 69 is time to think. 84. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 4 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 8. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 7 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 14, which equals 5. In the tens column, we now have 7. Subtract 6 from 7, which equals 1. So the final result is 84 minus 69 equals to 15. 94 minus 46 is time to think. 84. In the units column, we have 4 minus 6. Since it's not possible to subtract 6 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 9. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 8 in the tens column and turning the units column into 14. Now, we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 6 from 14. In the tens column, we now have 8. Subtract 4 from 8, which equals 4. So, so the final resu result is 94 minus 46 equals to 48. Awesome work, everyone. You've just completed 10 subtraction questions with two-digit numbers.
keep practicing to get even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun and learning. See you in the next lesson.